All right, another one here. Uh, watch for the tricky part here. Given this Pac-Man, uh, we have our angular measure given here and a radius. Well, uh, we want to know, uh, we're looking for what's our length, okay? Well, in order to do this, we have to realize that, well, let's try it out here, okay? So, uh, we can put 70 degrees over uh, arc length, we don't know, radius is 8, eight centimeters, okay? And then to get isolate this, we would just multiply both by both sides by 8 cm. Of course, that would cancel, that would cancel, and we get we get something equals this. But if we did that, we are wrong. Okay, I wonder if you know why. Maybe I'll tell you why in about two seconds. One, zero, okay. Um, this is measured in degrees. We want to deal with, uh, we're talking about radians here, so we need to convert that into radians first. Okay? And, and anytime you want to convert degrees to uh, radians just for fun, like on the street or anything, go right ahead. It's, it's a really fun, fun trick to do. Okay, um, so how do we do this? Okay, 70 degrees, I don't know what that's going to be. I know that 180 degrees equals pi radians, um, so I can uh, divide both by 180. Okay, so 1 degree equals pi over 180. And then I'm going to multiply by 70 because I want 70 degrees. I get a ratio of 70 degrees equals 7 over 18 pi. Okay, that's fair. Okay, that's... This is, this is my radians. There, that's perfect. Here's my radian measurement. Okay, now I can do this, okay? So um, if, uh, if, uh, if theta equals arc length, we don't know, over the radius, 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 hcm, well, hang on a sec. I just renamed theta. This is now theta. 7 over 18 pi. Okay, all I have to do is solve for x to find the arc length. Arc length. So I just multiply out both sides by 8 centimeters. These cross up. Uh, and what I'm left with is uh, 56 centimeters pi. What this, just so you know with brackets and stuff, this is 56 centimeters times pi um, over 18. Uh, let's, I, I've got this thing ready to roll here. Okay. And this would equal on the other side would just be x, which is the arc length. I better write that down. Arc length. Okay. Well, what is the arc length? Now we're talking about a measurement here. Um, I'm going to just multiply this out. 56 t um, centimeters times 3.14 divided by 18. This actually turns out to be about 9.77 centimeters. Okay, the centimeters didn't cancel out, they're still there. Okay, and what is that? That's the arc length. Okay, how do we do that? We converted degrees into radians, and then we uh, used our simple formula. So really two steps, degrees to radians, which we know already, and then used our, our uh, formula, and then common sense to just do grade seven style algebra and crudely. Canceling out denominators. Really easy stuff. Okay? Any questions? Give me a holla.